Hey guys, welcome back. It's Nina. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. And thank you guys for being patient with me because I've taken an impromptu little break from filming and posting on YouTube without really even saying anything. So thank you guys for being patient with me. This week, I knew I had to come back because it is officially the Eras Tour opening week. This is insane. In the last merch, Eras launch. I got this sweatshirt. It has all the Eras on it. Super cute. And I have ordered some of the official tour merch already because I don't want to have to buy it and hold it during the show. So I thought I would just buy it online. It'd be much easier. But I knew I had to get back on YouTube this week because it is a very big week and I wanted to document the getting ready process and everything. Mostly the reason I haven't been posting on YouTube is because I've been focusing on my real estate exam. Last week I passed the real estate test and I have my real estate license, which is super exciting. But I knew that I needed to focus and study for that so I could pass it on the first try and not have to retake it. So that was the first thing. The second thing was that I got hit with a double ear infection, sinus infection, the works. And so I was down for the count all week last week. And even now I'm not 100%, but we are getting there because I I need to be 100% for this next Friday. But some updates. So I took a pause on the Lover House. It's almost done. I went to Hobby Lobby and got a few things that I think are gonna be really good finishing touches. So when I get back from the concert in Arizona, I'm going to finish up the Lover House. So we're not abandoning that. We're just taking a pause on it. Plus, I think I was just completely burnt out from spending 20 hours bejeweling the roof. So we needed to take a step away from that, but we will come back to it. Second thing is that I have been making friendship bracelets for the first show, and I really don't know who came up with this idea, but someone thought it would be really cute if we all made a bunch of friendship bracelets and traded them at the concerts, because in You're On Your Own Kid, it says make the friendship bracelets, so we took that to heart. This is kind of what I've been doing. I I bought a bunch of beads from Hobby Lobby and Amazon and then I got like the stretchy like nylon string and then I've just been kind of beading them like this and then tying a knot at the end and then finishing it off with some clear nail polish so it doesn't come undone but I wanted to show you guys how I was making mine in case you guys wanted to make them for your tour so this is the stretchy uh, string that I got from Hobby Lobby I think it was like three dollars I just kind of measured it loosely where's the end of it I measured it loosely around my wrist and then added a few inches um, so I could tie it at the end, but I figured I would do something stretchy so it fits on anybody's wrists. Here's one that I already made. It says fearless TV. It's kind of upside down or backwards or whatever. And then I added a bunch of cute little beads that went along with that. And then you just slip it on and it's stretchy. So you can, you're not going to like break it or anything. So I've made like 20 so far, but I have a lot to go because I want to bring like around 50 to the show. But here's all of the ones that I've made. I still have to tie a couple of them. I kind of misjudged how long the string needed to be for a few of them. But essentially, I just chose an album, a song, and then I just picked a bunch of beads that I thought went along with that. So I'm going to show you guys some of them. It says, Meet Me at Midnight, and it has like the cute little gold star, and then we've got blue stars. And all these beads, again, I got from Hobby Lobby or Amazon. Some of them, uh, the gold spacer ones, I got from Amazon because Hobby Lobby didn't really have any of them and you need the spacers in order for the rest of the beads to stay on the string which is something I did not think about when I started. I got these from Hobby Lobby. This whole pack of letters and little hearts and then I got this 
because it had like the most variety of colors. I still want to go back and get a few more colors because I don't have any red beads and you know I can't overlook red. I need to I need to make quite a few of those ones. And then I got a bunch of these gold smaller ones that go between like as a little spacer between the letters. So I just thought I would give you guys a mini tutorial on how I made these so that maybe if you wanted to make a similar one you could. So once you measure it you just cut it and the only thing about this material is that it's kind of hard to tie in a knot and not come undone but I just found that you tie it in a knot and then you just pull it really really tight and it kind of stays. Basically what I do is I leave like a decent amount on the end and then I tie it in a knot because you're gonna need quite a bit at the end to tie it at the end when we're done. So I just tied it in a single knot here and then I pulled it tight and then it should stay. And this is where I overlooked needing the spacers because if I wanted to put a normal sized bead on it, it just would not stay because the hole is the hole is too big it'll just fall right off unless you tied like a knot around this one and so I just found it to be much easier having the spacers to kind of be that little anchor so I'm I know that you can't really see this it's so small so I'm putting this through and it stops at the end because the hole on these ones is much smaller than the big circle ones so I just did my little flower basically I choose like an album or a song and I just go along with that theme so let's see I also figured out that I need to get a box that has numbers because I only have letters and I really want to do 1989 13 you know all the numbers okay let's say we wanted to do stay beautiful Beautiful. So I'm gonna choose a few colors here. We're gonna do green and blue for like debut and maybe some pink. So I got a green, I'm gonna do a blue, I'll show you guys. And then I'm gonna add another little spacer. This one's just a circle gold one. You pull it down and then I'm going to repeat the pattern over again. Okay, so once I have that, then I'm going to spell out the words. So I'm going to go dig into this and get all the letters that I need. Okay, so I got all my letters. Okay, so we've got stay, and then I'm gonna add a little spacer. Okay, so now that I have it all here, and then I'm basically going to repeat this entire pattern on the other side, so it's symmetrical. Okay, we've got our finished bracelet now, and so I'm gonna tie a knot at the end, and I'm gonna pull it really tight. Okay. So here we go. So to finish it off, this is the hardest part, I will say, because this string doesn't cooperate the best. Okay, so basically I'm gonna take the two pieces and I'm going to tie them in a single knot together. So it looks like this. And then I'm gonna pull it tight, really, really tight. I figured this is the best way to keep it from coming undone because I tried tying them together in like a regular knot and it just, always comes undone. So you see that it's secure and then I'll go through with some clear nail polish and I will brush it onto the knot because I don't know where I saw that, that you should brush some clear nail polish onto the knot and it keeps it secure and from coming undone, especially if you stretch it and put it on your wrist. So there we have it. I spent one night with my friend making all of these. So we worked on it for a few hours. So this week I think I will continue to make more little bracelets and I think I'm gonna go get some more beads so I could do some more albums. But so far I have a lot of Speak Now and a lot of Midnights and Lover. So I need to make more for 1989 and Red. Just come up with some more creative ideas because y'all are so creative and I've been seeing so many on TikTok that are so good and I can't wait to trade bracelets with y'all. It's gonna be so fun. Swifties are so creative, I swear. All right, I've made the executive decision that I am gonna go to Hobby Lobby right now because if I don't go right now, I feel like I'm just never gonna go. I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby and get red beads. Anything else that calls to me. I really would love to make a mirror ball bracelet with like little like sparkly ones, but we'll see what they have. Yeah, after this, I need to like ban myself from going to Hobby Lobby because I just feel like I'm always there. I have been way too crafty lately.
Okay, I am back. I don't know how I forgot that today is Sunday and Hobby Lobby is closed on Sundays. So thank the Lord there is a Michaels across the street. So we persevered and I got all the beads that I wanted. So I got red beads for red and then I also got these kind of like crystally red ones. So those will be good for all of my red bracelets. And then I got more yellow because I don't really have like actual yellow. It's more of like a cream colored one. So I needed like true yellow for Fearless. And then I found my mirror ball ones. So I'm super excited about this. And then lastly, I got numbers and different symbols for this one. And so my Sunday evening is going to consist of drinking white wine and making Taylor Swift friendship bracelets, which is ideal. But I wanted to talk more about the tour and everything else. So for my outfit, I really thought I would have it by now, but it has not come in yet. I ordered this over a month ago and it was supposed to come in like two weeks and it's been over a month. And so if it doesn't come in the next two days, I'm gonna be really upset because it is the most perfect outfit that I had in my brain when I saw it. I literally just like bought it immediately. It's a purple sparkly dress that looks a lot like the one that she wore on the 1989 tour and it's got like fringe and it's so cute. Um, I'll put a picture of it and so I'm really praying that that comes in the next three days but if it doesn't I ordered a backup option from Amazon that should be here tomorrow. The tour outfit's up in the air right now and you really would have thought that I'd be like ahead of the game. And I really thought that I was by ordering it over a month ago, but you know, things happen. And so I have this other like lavender colored fluffy dress coming in tomorrow. So that's my backup plan. And then I'm gonna wear my white cowgirl boots. And then I'm going with my two friends, Maddie and Otterina. And so the theme that we kind of decided to go with for this first show is kind of like midnights, but tie in other eras. And so I'm gonna be lavender, which is kind of like lavender haze and also speak now for the purple and also so it looks like that one thing from 1989. So we're trying to bring in all the era influences to our Midnight's looks. And so Maddie is going to do the Midnight Blue outfit. And I don't remember if she's wearing pants or not, but it looks like the after party dress from the VMAs. So she's going with the midnight blue theme. And then Otterina is going with the maroon theme, tying in a bit of the red era. So we all kind of chose a color scheme from Midnight's and then we're just gonna like tie in other eras where we can. So the opening night is next Friday or this Friday on St. Patrick's Day. And there is two nights in Glendale, Arizona, Friday and Saturday. We don't have tickets to the Saturday, but I don't know. We'll see. I think day of we might try to see if the ticket prices go down for the resale and we'll try to get in on that second show. I'd say it's like a 50-50 shot that we actually commit to doing it, but I really, really want to because I just know once we see it on Friday that we're going to want to try to go again on Saturday. And it's just going to be so crazy because I have not been to a Taylor Swift concert in like five years. It's just crazy because like I didn't have my YouTube channel back then and now that I do I have a feeling I'm gonna meet a lot of people from the internet at these concerts and it's gonna be so much fun. If you are at any of these concerts please come up and say hi to me and I'll give you a friendship bracelet and we can be besties. Um, I definitely think we're gonna get to the venue early. I'm gonna be vlogging the entire weekend and so I'm really excited to document the process and everything. Our seats are in the 400 section which is kind of like the no nosebleeds but I think we're in like the front row of the nosebleeds which was the best that we could do during that shit show of a ticket master pre-sale. I live in Southern California so we're going to be driving out to Arizona. It's about five and a half hours. We're leaving on Thursday morning and so we're gonna be there Thursday night and then Friday we're just going to get ready and I think the venue opens at like noon for parking and then the actual part opens at like four maybe. I don't know. We're planning on getting there early just for all the festivities the pictures and just all of that it's like it's like a whole ordeal it's like you got to make a day of it I know that when we went to the reputation tour they had a bunch of different booths and outside lots of photo ops it's just like a little Taylor Swift 
carnival, so to speak. And I cannot wait to see everybody's outfits. I know it's gonna be just so many creative remakes and looks and, you know, everything. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys my week leading up to us going to the Taylor Swift tour. Um, I'm gonna be sitting here making these friendship bracelets today. I got another Amazon package today and I bought, I don't even know, I think there's like 2,000 of these but they are gems that you can stick in your hair, on your face. I have so many different colors, like every color of the rainbow. I don't know. It was super cheap, it was $7 for all of these rhinestones. Depending on the era that you're doing, they have rhinestones for every single one. So if you're thinking of blinging yourself out, adding a little bit of a bejeweled element to your tour look, you should hop on Amazon and get some of these. So. You could put them on your face. I'm gonna put them in my hair. It's gonna be really cute. So that's just another thing that I got this week, last minute. But yeah, I will let you guys know when my tour outfit comes in and how that looks. But for right now, I'm just gonna try to make as many friendship bracelets as possible. All right guys, it is the next day and in a wonderful turn of events, both of my dresses arrived. So we're going to unbox them. This one is my original dress. This is my backup. I just, I don't even know. I think I just Googled like sparkly purple dress and I saw this website um, and I took a chance and I ordered from a random website, but ooh, I'm a little nervous to see how it looks. And if it fits, okay. We've got lots of fringe and lots of sparkles. Okay, where is the other one? I'm kind of glad I got a backup dress because just in case I like don't actually like how this one looks on, but it honestly, this looks pretty cute. I kind of wish I had more fringe on the front, but I think once I put it on, oh, this is a mess. <laughs> Dress number one, the purple sparkly fringe. I might add some rhinestones to it, maybe on the straps. It's really cute. What size is this? Okay, this is a medium, so I hope it fits. Might be a little big. So that's option number one, which I will most likely be going with that one. I bought this one a few days ago because I thought that one wasn't gonna come in in time. So I got this princessy type of dress. It's purple and very fluffy. So again, another risk. Um, but this one had good reviews. It's literally like a fairy. It's like a fairy dress. That's cute. I might keep this one anyways and bring it because we're gonna try to finesse tickets to the second show. So maybe I'll wear this on the second night if we can make that happen. This is really cute. Okay, I think we have some solid options here. Going for the Lavender Haze Speak Now kind of vibe. I am gonna try it on. Okay, so it's not exactly how I envisioned it looking, but it's still cute. Got the tassels, the fringe. I'm gonna need to sew it a little bit. The straps are loose up here and this like weird situation. I wish there's more fringe on the top, but I think we can make it work. I, I like the fringe, I do. I'm gonna try on the other one though and then we will see. Okay, this is option number two. It's giving princess, it's giving fairy tale. It's actually much better than I thought it was going to look. It's very fluffy. It's very speak now, you know princess, whatever, purple, really cute. I think it'll look much better if my hair was down. Yes, these are my two options. I'm probably going to bring both of them and it might be a game time decision, but 
Yep, these are, these are my two outfits for opening weekend. All right, besties. It is the day before we leave for Arizona now. And you know how I said I might go to Hobby Lobby? Well, I did. I went back to Hobby Lobby for like the a millionth time. I was getting more string because I ran out of string the other night. And then they were having a sale on beads. So you know that I had to get more beads, which at this point I should be, I should be banned from buying more beads because I do not need this this many. I'm gonna be making bracelets forever. Also, I will be wearing this all week. I just feel like I can't wear anything else. So at first, I can't find the original string that I got, but I did find more fun string. This one is more of like the plasticky nylon, and then this is more of kind of like, I don't know, like a fabric vibe. I don't really know how to explain. So I got two of these, and they actually work so much better than the other stuff. So Hobby Lobby has you there. And then I wanted to get more colors in different sizes. So I saw these and they were half off. So this one has a lot of fun colors. And then I got purple and then I got this like black shimmery, like iridescent one. So I got those three. And then I figured while I'm at it, I might as well just get the variety pack. So I got all of these smaller beads because it's much more like has many more colors than my original pack that I got here because I don't really have any colors for Evermore or just like more niche colors. So yesterday and the day before, I made quite a few more bracelets. So I'm gonna show you some of them. Here is my pile of bracelets. I think I have like 30 now. Um, I have at least like three per era, but I'm so excited about this one. It says Starbucks lovers and it has little stars and it's so cute, inside joke. And then I made one specific for the opening show and it says, Eras Tour Glendale. And I put all the little different beads to represent each album. And so these ones are smaller, but they stretch more. So this one works pretty well. And then I made this one, which I thought was really cute. And it says we were dancing with like the black and green-ish little beads, which made me think of when Taylor Swift played Dizzy with their hands tied on the rep tour acoustic. There you have it. So I will be continuing to make bracelets today. Tonight, Maddie and Otterina are coming in and we're gonna make more bracelets tonight. And then we're gonna get up so, so early tomorrow and drive to Arizona. Arizona. I have not had the chance to rhinestone my outfit or like sew it, hem it, alter it. So that is going to be a last minute thing that we do today at some point. But I am going to end the video here and then we'll pick back up in the next video in my first vlog for the weekend. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see our journey to the Eras tour. I am just so in shock that I will be seeing Taylor Swift in the flesh two days from now. Comment down below if I'm going to see you there. If not, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.